Local culinary students are finally getting the chance to earn their stripes while showcasing their works with the opening of a semester-long restaurant. 7 of 4's Alyssa Heron joins us live from the Great Lakes Culinary Institute in Traverse City to tell us more about this unique dining experience. Hey, Alyssa. Good morning, Brennan and Melissa. I am inside of NMC's teaching restaurant, Labdell's. Joining me is chef instructor Joel Pacoon. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, you know, first of all, I want you to just tell me how students get involved with this culinary program and work their way up to working in this restaurant. It's a two-year associates program, and uh, this is a capstone course, so they go through most of their introductory classes and whatnot, and then they finish the program with Labdell's, serving the public. In, oh. uh, in our restaurant. Okay, so let's kind of take a walk this way now. How many students are involved in um, this institute? In the institute, uh, approximately 200 um, through all the classes. In okay. Labdell's in the restaurant, it's 20 students that run the entire restaurant. Okay, so kind of tell me, what are the hours right now that the public can come out to this restaurant? Tuesdays through Thursdays from 11.30 to 1.30. Okay. Uh, we're open for lunch. Okay, and I'm going to turn it over to Jessica Bredberg. What do we have in front of us right here? This You guys have been preparing this all morning. Yes, we have. This is our roasted squash salad with an Asian pear. It has mixed greens, spiced pepitas, and a blue cheese crouton. We have a kabocha squash and a butternut squash with a sliced, or not a slice, a chicken breast on it. <laughs> okay, and this is actually a dish that is... Um, on the menu right now, correct? It is currently on the menu and it is a very popular item. To <laughs> yeah, it looks delicious. So kind of tell me, how does the menu get um, chosen? Our menu is decided by the chefs based on previous semester students menu planning project. This semester we are putting together our own menu planning project um, for next semester. Okay, so you know, first of all, just tell me what's your favorite part of this program? I think so far my favorite part has been the restaurant class. It's a great opportunity to learn how to put together a restaurant and run one. Okay, well, thank you so much for joining us. Um, coming up at 6.30, they're actually going to put my skills to the test, and we're going to make one of these entree salads. All of this information and more will be on our website at upnorthlive.com. Reporting live in Traverse City, Alyssa Heron, 7 and 4 News. Thanks so much, Alyssa. She always has a way of making us hungry in the Doesn't morning. She, I was going to say, I know it's breakfast, but I would still have any of that food. Yeah, it looks good. So excited to see Alyssa put some of her uh, food making skills to, to the, the test. test. Yeah. Yes. Seven and four's Alyssa Heron joins us live from the Hagerty Center to tell us a little more about this unique dining experience. Good morning, Alyssa. Good morning, Brennan and Melissa. I am back with student Jessica Bradberg. Thanks for joining us again. And we are inside of Labdell's. So if you guys didn't see this segment last time, can you kind of describe what Labdell's is? Labdell's is a teaching restaurant. It is run by the culinary students at Great Lakes Culinary Institute. Generally, it's a second year class. It's for the more advanced students. We set up for three weeks. We learn about how to set up a restaurant, start a restaurant, do all of the leg work, and then we open. We have a soft opening, and that's for the first three days that we're open, and then we open full time okay. from 11.30 to 1.30, Wednesday, or Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Um, join us. It, yeah, and you guys are already open, correct? We are already open. Okay, so right in front of us, you're going to show me how to make one of your um, main entree salads, correct? Yes, this is our roasted squash and pear salad. Okay. It starts with a bed of mixed greens. Okay. So, we take the mixed greens, then what's next? And we are going to put a little bit of our maple balsamic vinaigrette on that. And this is all local, correct? Most of it's local. We do source local as how we can. How much I put in it? That's good. Okay. And then you're going to toss this with your hands. Okay. Just mix the dressing in on it. Oops. I'm <laughs> making a mess. <laughs> Yay. Okay, then what? And then you're going to set it into the bowl, the pasta bowl next to you. All right. And you're going to top that with a little bit of our roasted squash. It's butternut squash and kabocha squash. Okay, all of it or just a Just about a tablespoon. Oh goodness, I'm bad with <laughs> balling this. Okay. That's about right. Is that good? All right. And then you're going to use some of our spiced pepitas, which are pumpkin seeds. Okay, right and you guys were back in the um, kitchen making these all this morning. We were. Okay. And then you're going to fan three or four slices of our Asian pear onto the salad. I'll take four because it looks amazing. <laughs> This is a nice dish. And we oh. take a freshly grilled Yum. chicken. Okay. And slice it. It's nice and hot. So you want to use tongs to protect your hands. Okay. And you're going to fan that on there as well. Alrighty. 
And you guys are open today for lunch once again. We are. Say the hours one more time. We are me. open from 11.30 to 1.30. Okay. And your location? We are at the Great Lakes campus. We are in the same campus as the Maritime Academy. Perfect. Well, you guys are going to want to come and check this out. It looks amazing and it smells delicious. Uh, all of this information and more will be on our website at upnorthlive.com. Reporting live in Traverse City, Alyssa Heron, 7 and 4 News.